This episode of Stuck in Vermont is made possible by Hotel Vermont and Vermont Tourism. I am very excited okay, to be here today. It's, it's my dream, you know. It's happening. I know. It's happening. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Saulberger. We are at UVM's Patrick Gymnasium for the CVU High School graduation. Day for my family. Today we are revisiting a family that we met back in 2013, the Achindas, who arrived here from Tanzania. What we see here in front of you is a mirror. As you know, I have eight kids. I start with twins. Three years ago. Three years ago, my dad told us like we're gonna move in America. I didn't believe that. I thought he was joking. They are graduating from CVU. They came here with no English. Graduating Friday, all of you guys. Yes. I am so excited graduating because this was my dream. We also visited with Fraja and Fazili at CVU. It sounds like a lot of the teachers here kind of know the whole family. Well, it could very well be the seven days video that was posted <laughs> because right? that was something that was sent out to the faculty forum to say, hey, look at this amazing story. And now we're going to have these kids or half the kids at CBU. Faraja and Fazili are the twins who look nothing alike and have totally different personalities. This one came with the twins from Congo. After her, Faibe, she was the first one to be born in Tanzania. Hi. Yeah. Come here, Festo. Yeah. <laughs> He's a freshman. I was kind of shocked when I got here, so like right now I'm kind of used to it. I met the Achindas in, I think it was January of 2013, when they first arrived here. It was a freezing cold winter day. I remember it vividly because they came in with their dad into my classroom, this like gaggle of girls. I met Fazili during my sophomore year chorus class. Yes, I remember that. No English, Swahili, little French. We may do the best we could with hand gestures and algebra uh, class. And the first thing they do is give you this enormous hug like your family. And it's amazing how you just automatically become <laughs> their family. <laughs> the first time I come and see you, I didn't know even hi, but you can tell my face tried to say something. Hi, you know, I said, hey. She started learning to know everyone the first day. English or no English, personalities shine through. He's my friend. Hi. So, this is my friend. Hello. All of the girls are just very, very outgoing and friendly and very hard workers academically. This is like my, my third language. Third or fourth language. Yeah, yeah. I compare them to walking pieces of sunshine. I think that their warmth and their friendliness makes people want to be around them. Oh, yeah. good today. What's going on? Very pretty. <laughs> Fazile is the governor, the mayor, the ambassador of CVU. Faraj is incredibly studious. You never quite know what they're going to show up with, with some hairdo. I hear you're popular too. Yes. <laughs> I was crying because it was beautiful, you know. It's a good to feel love. So the ELL population at CVU has grown exponentially over the past few years. They've learned a lot, but we've also learned a lot from them. They've helped me in my continual growth and my future <laughs> growth as a person to see things other ways because I don't think there is one way of seeing or understanding. I don't know if it's an African sensibility but an awareness of community and family that is not just about the self. I'm happy and sad because uh, I'm have to graduate to, to, to grow up a little bit but I'm sad I leave my teacher I love and I leave people I love. Oh. I always love you girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the best. Thank you. I'll see you tonight. I'm going to be here. You feel love when you're in this room, you know. It was the first class we have in America for EL class. What are you, my hero? And th thanks to you to make me believe that I can do anything. But if you believe for yourself, you can do something big. You can. To be in America for me is the biggest dream I'd ever have. They've got spirit, they've got pizzazz, they've got friendships uh, that they've made. It's been amazing the past three years just to, just to become like real friends. Yes. CVU is a better place as a result of having the agendas for sure. Cancer sickness cannot 
take away my joy and my happiness. You know, one of the things that they've also dealt with is their dad's illness. Well, they told me, to be short, you're going to die in six months. I told, I told them no. We are far beyond six months. According to me, God decided to intervene. The tumor is still there, and that's why they're giving chemo. But I'm still alive, and that is a miracle. They made me so happy, and today is a graduation day from CVU. I heard your convocation speech was amazing. Amazing! I cried! You cried? Yes! knows them. They're very well liked. They're just wonderful kids, hard workers. They're going to make something in life. I feel a lot of pride for them and with them. I'm just looking forward to seeing where their journey is going to take them. They're going to make it happen. They're smiling. They are ready to go out in the world. So proud of them. It's a really good feeling because I knew they wanted this moment for a really long time. And now, this year, for the first time, I can say I have kids in college. Congratulations, Faraja and Fazili, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Hello, lovely teachers. Hi, this is my Hello. favorite teacher. Hi, Hi teachers. I love Hi. them. Hi. Oh, around. Hi. 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 It's, um, what's your name? Avis. Oh. It's Burger. Stuck you in know, Vermont. seven days. I'm stuck in Vermont. It's I'm stuck in Vermont. Vermont. She's, she's a good one to do a video on. She's awesome. <laughs> yeah. she's, she's like the mayor. Oh, please. The mayor of CBS. Uh, <laughs> Hotel Vermont is personal, purposeful, and natural. Rustic and modern. Unique, independent, and unlike anything else. It's fun, it's exciting. Hip and relaxed. It's Vermont, it's Burlington. Come down for a beer, come stay overnight. We'd love to see you. 